Welcome to our Easter service. This service is coming to you from Cantley Methodist Church. And I'm glad that you are part of uh, this service this morning or this afternoon, whatever time you catch up with it. We'll begin with a very popular hymn that is sung around Easter time. Christ the Lord is risen today. Hallelujah. Let us pray together. Lord Jesus Christ, we rejoice today in the good news of your resurrection. You met with Mary in the garden, bringing laughter after tears. You met with women returning from the tomb, bringing confidence after confusion. You met with Cleophas, on the Emmaus road, bringing hope after dismay. You met with the apostles in a, in a room burned against the world, bringing joy after sorrow. You met with Thomas in his disbelief, bringing faith after doubt. You met with the apostle Paul on his way to Damascus bringing love after hatred. You met with the countless generations across the centuries, bringing renewal after disbelief and disobedience. Lord, we pray that you meet with us now, in this day, in this place. Bring light into our darkness. Fill our hearts with the new life of your resurrection and bring us today and bring us to that day when we all with your people will enter your kingdom and rejoice in the wonder of your love and we make this prayer in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit amen we now take our reading and our reading this uh, today is taken from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 28, uh, from verses 1 to 10. The Resurrection After the Sabbath, as Sunday morning was dawning, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to look at the tomb. Suddenly, there was a violent earthquake. An angel of the Lord came down from heaven, rolled the stone away, and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning, and his clothes were white as snow. The guards were so afraid that they trembled and became like dead men. The angel spoke to the women. You must not be afraid, he said. I know you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He is not here. He has been raised, just as he said. Come here and see the place where he was lying. Go quickly now and tell his disciples. He has been raised from death and now he is going to Galilee. He will go ahead of you. There you will see him. Remember what I have told you. 
So they left the tomb in a hurry, afraid and yet filled with joy, and ran to tell his disciples. Suddenly, Jesus met them and said, Peace be with you. They came up to him, took hold of his feet, and worshipped him. Do not be afraid, Jesus said to them. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee, and there they will see me. Thank you. Uh, that was our daughter Nene. Uh, today, I want us to meditate on the ones, do not be afraid, do not fear. Fear is a very serious emotion, and sometimes it can make people uh, do things that they would not otherwise do. I want to begin uh, this service by uh, naming a few characters in this Easter episode who were filled with fear. And they did things in a most uncharacteristic manner. The first of this is the religious leaders. On the Friday, they have seen Jesus crucified. And in fact, uh, Joseph of Arimathea and Nicodemus, the one who went to see Jesus at night, they have asked for his body and they have buried him. And they have placed a big rock, a big boulder uh, in the mouth of the grave. But what do these religious leaders do? On the Saturday morning, which was a Sabbath, when they are not supposed to work, they went to see Pontius Pilate and said, said you know that person, that character, that, that Jesus. When he was alive, he said that you would uh, rise again after three days. Our fear is that the disciples, his disciples will steal the body and claim that he is risen. Therefore, give us guns, give us soldiers to go and guard the grave. Well, uh, Ponte Pilate was just not about to do that. He told them you have got your own soldiers. He told the chief priest, you send your own soldiers. And that's exactly what they did. And then uh, uh, the other person was filled with fear and doing things that he would not normally do was Pontius Pilate himself. When the religious leaders went to him, they said, you know, this man, he claimed to be a king. And so if you release him, that like he, he wanted to do, then uh, you are not a friend of Caesar, because Caesar is the only king that we know. This man shrank back, he backward back. Uh, Instead of releasing an innocent man, Jesus, they release, he released for them uh, Barabbas, who was a criminal. Fear, fear, fear. In the book of Shakespeare, uh, Julius Caesar, see the conspirators, when they kill the emperor, they are still not sure of themselves, even, even though Caesar is dead. And so Brutus calls the others and says, you know, Caesar is more dangerous when he is dead than when he is alive. He is like a snake that has died and the, the eggs hatch. 
the young snakes, the young the babies are more dangerous than the old snake. These were the conspirators, the co-conspirators. These religious leaders also are afraid of a dead man. They are afraid of Jesus. They act out of fear. And they even bribe the soldiers and say, you know, uh, if, if the man should rise, all you do is you say that the, the disciples stole the body when we, we were asleep. There was a lot of corruption happening around uh, this Easter episode. Let me mention the, the last group that let Jesus tie down big time. It was his own disciples, the closest and the dearest. When the moment that really counted came, these people were nowhere to be seen. In fact, the only one who was, who was seen was Simon Peter. But even him, uh, he was not there to defend Jesus. He was there to deny him. You remember the triple denial that I have never seen him. I never saw, I don't know. I don't know what you are talking about. That's what Peter said. There was only one group of people who acted in faith in this uh, episode. And that was the women. The women, we are told, they woke up very early in the morning. And uh, that was on Sunday morning. And they went to the grave. And when they got to the grave, something uh, spectacular happened. There was a big, big earthquake. And the angel came and rolled the border, the stone away, and sat on it. The soldiers froze with the fear. But the angel told the ladies something that is important, something that Jesus himself was to repeat again. The angel said, don't be afraid, do not fear. Don't be afraid. Number two, he said, uh, he is not here, he is risen. But go and tell the disciples that he has gone ahead of them to Galilee, and there they will find him. It was after a short distance that as they were walking away from the grave, that again they meet with Jesus, and he tells them, don't be afraid, don't be afraid. And he tells, the second thing he tells them was, go tell my brothers, I've gone to Galilee ahead of them. Fear, as I said, can be a serious uh, emotion in our lives. Sometimes uh, we can be engulfed with the fear because of real situations. I'm thinking of the the whole world is now uh, engulfed in this fear of uh, the, uh, the pandemic. We have lost loved ones. Some people are sick. And you can be filled with the real fear of what is happening. Even the fear of the unknown, you know, because you don't know what will happen tomorrow. Some of the other people have lost businesses. We have lost our way of life. Schools have been closed. But Jesus of Easter comes and says, don't be afraid, do not fear, do not fear. Uh, Jesus would even later on tell the, uh, the disciples, don't be afraid, I have overcome the world. And so the church is called upon uh, not to shrink back, but to be a people who live by faith. Because we have one who has loved us so much. 
The book of Hebrews, chapter 10, verses 38, tells us, But my righteous ones who live by faith, and they will not shrink back. And if they shrink back, my soul will have no pleasure in them. But that the same passage continues to say, but actually we are not, we don't belong to those who shrink back, but of those who live by faith, faith of the Son of Man, of the Son of God who loved us and died for us. It's a time, it's a time when we, the church is called upon to be endowed with the courage, with the hope with the faith, don't be afraid. But the second thing that Jesus tells uh, the disciples, the, the, the ladies, is to go and tell the disciples that he is risen and he has gone ahead of them, he has gone ahead of him to uh, Galilee. These women were the first evangelists to witness to the recent Christ. They bore the good news. The ladies who probably the society wrote off were the ones who witnessed the resurrection and they came, went to bear the good news. Jesus is calling upon each and every one of us to be bearers of the good news of the kingdom. We are called upon to witness to the resurrection, to witness this one who has loved us so much. The world will know if we tell them. If we tell them by our actions, if we tell them by uh, saying it, by verbalizing it, the world needs to hear. The world has no hope except if we give them the hope that is in us, the, uh, the, that there is hope in Christ. I want to say the last thing uh, about the Easter episode. Is that when the ladies go and tell the disciples that the Messiah is risen, the Lord is risen, then the disciples go uh, to Galilee the first thing that happens when they go there is that they go fishing. Uh, John, the Gospel of John tells us. And they toil all night. They catch nothing. They catch nothing. It and to take the risen Christ to, to give them a sumptuous breakfast by the Sea of Galilee. But the first thing that he did before anything else was to forgive them. T. Peter, the one who denied the loan three times, is reinstated. Not once, not twice, three times. Peter, Simon, by Jonah, son of Jonah, do you love me more than all these others? And Peter was quite busy telling, trying to tell the Lord how much he loved him. And he stoned, feed my sheep, feed my lambs, tend my sheep. It doesn't matter what you have done in the past. The Lord is busy and waiting for you. The blood is waiting to reinstate you, to cleanse you, to forgive you, to make you one of his own. You are the crowning glory of God's creation. You are the apple of God's eye. Don't be afraid. Be of good hope. Live with the courage. Live with the hope. Because Christ the Lord has done for you. And somebody sang and said, Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all fear is gone. Because I know, I know the one who owns the future and is the one who owns my life. 
we are going to pray and then uh, we'll uh, we'll play the last track and uh, we'll end with a blessing first of all we'll offer prayers let us pray on this easter day we remember those who have gone before us to glory may we like them inherit our it in, inherit your eternal kingdom we pray for all who are fearful today people living alone people who have endured great trials people who are scared for each new day come among them and breathe your resurrection peace we pray for your worldwide church united today in joyful acclamation of the risen christ may we your church daily witness to the life of the risen christ in our own lives through our love for god self and neighbor we pray for the leaders of the world and for the people they govern endow them with wisdom and justice so that they might govern all people with equity finally we pray for ourselves in christ we are indeed more than conquerors may hallelujah be our triumphant song today and always amen amen let us say the lord's prayer together our, our father, father who art in heaven allow be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from the evil for yours is the kingdom the power and the glory forever and ever amen our last track is hail the day that sees him rise Let us say the grace together. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us on now and evermore. Amen. I'll end up with the benediction from the book of Psalms. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Hallelujah, he is risen. He is risen indeed. 
Hallelujah.